Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramfels Tech. For many of you, 15 gigabytes of Google Drive storage isn't enough to hold all your files, especially with Google Photos, email attachments, and other data-consuming space. In this video, I'll reveal an incredible trick to get unlimited Google Drive storage for free. If you're tired of running out of space and want more storage without paying anything, be sure to watch until the end. Normally, Google requires you to upgrade to a paid storage plan, charging for 100 gigabytes or even 200 gigabytes of extra space. But don't worry. As promised, I'll show you a simple yet effective trick to unlock unlimited storage or get up to 120 gigabytes for free. So, without further delay, let's dive in. To get more storage, you'll need to create multiple Google Drive accounts. For example, if you need 60 gigabytes, you'd create four accounts, and for 120 gigabytes, you'd create eight accounts, since each account provides 15 gigabytes of free storage. Now, you might be thinking, isn't this just an old and obvious trick? Yes, it's well known that creating multiple accounts increases storage, but the real challenge is constantly logging in and switching between them, which can be inconvenient. However, that's not the trick I'm sharing today. Instead, I'll show you a way to manage all that storage from a single Google account, making the process seamless and efficient. So don't skip any part of this video, as I guide you through the exact steps. Start by logging into your primary Google account. In my case, this is my main account, where I've currently used 1.68 gigabytes out of my available 15 gigabytes of storage. To expand my storage, I've created three additional Google accounts. Now, here's what you need to do. Keep your primary account unchanged. There's no need to modify anything. Instead, switch to one of your newly created accounts. Once logged in, click on New and select Folder. Rename this folder something like Drive 1, 14.9 gigabytes, to indicate the available storage in that account, making it easier to track. After naming it, click Create to finalize the folder. Now right-click the folder and select Share. A sharing window will appear, asking you to add people, groups, or calendar events. Enter the email address of your primary Google account, the one you want to expand storage on. Ensure that the permission is set to editor, so you have full control over the folder. Once that's done, click send to share it. Next, switch back to your primary Google account. In the left-hand menu, click on shared with me, and you'll see the folder you just created. Repeat this process for each additional Google account. For example, if you have a second Google account, create another folder, name it Drive 2, maybe 14.9 gigabytes to indicate the available storage in that account and follow the same sharing steps. Now I will switch to one of my accounts. Once I'm logged in, I will click on New and select New Folder. I have used 20.1 megabytes of space, so I will rename it Drive 2, 14.9 gigabytes to indicate the available storage in that account. After naming it, I will click Create to finalize the folder. I will right-click the folder and select Share. A sharing window will appear again, asking me to add people, groups, or calendar events. I will enter the email address of my primary Google account, the one I want to expand storage on. I will ensure that the permission is set to editor, so I will have full control over the folder. Once that's done, I will click Send to share it. I will switch back to my primary Google account. In the left-hand menu, I will click on Shared with me, and I will see the folder I just created. You can do this with as many Google accounts as needed. In my case, I've used three additional accounts, but if you require more storage, simply create more accounts. The best part? This setup only needs to be done once. Now, in your primary Google Drive, you'll have multiple shared folders from your different accounts. While your primary account still has its original 15 gigabytes of storage, the extra storage in these shared folders does not count toward that limit. To demonstrate, I'll upload a small file into one of the shared folders. The file is stored in the folder while using the storage from my additional account, yet it remains accessible directly from my primary Google Drive. With this setup, you no longer need to constantly log in and switch between accounts. You can manage everything from just one Google account. This is a one-time setup, and once it's done, you'll enjoy extra free storage without any hassle. 
That's all for today guys. I hope you found this trick useful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.